What's up guys, it's Carter Kid, and today I'm going to be reconstructing Timon Kolasinski's insane 5.29 average in cubing at home. Now earlier today, or yesterday, or last week, depending on when I upload this video, in the competition cubing at home 2.1, in the first round of 3x3, Timon Kolasinski, an insanely fast 3x3 solver, got a 5.29 average in the first round. Now this average was insane, there's a lot of cool things you can learn from this, like cool X cross tricks and epic ZBLLs, and overall I think it would just be really cool to see how he did these solves. So without further ado, let's just get into the First solve a 609. Two, three, or four, even four pairs mm -hmm. uh, from inspection, which is just yeah. crazy. He's getting a 609 his first solve. So this first solve was a 609. Although this was his worst solve, there's so much you can learn from this. So as you can see, we have this block here on white and the edges are here, 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 and here. So here, Timon went for white cross and he started out by putting in these two pieces like this. Now what most people would do to make the X cross is to bring this edge over and put in these two pieces like this, like that. But Timon planned a lot more in this solve. He actually went for a double X cross. Instead of putting these in two together, he brought this one down with an L2 and then just put this one in like that. And now he's going to put in this edge, but if he wanted to put it in like this, he'd have to rotate, which isn't that good. So instead he did a wide U and then he put it in into the back like that. And then you can see this block gets paired up, so then he inserts this edge to complete the double X cross like this. And just like that you have two pairs solved. So then he just goes straight into this pair, which is very easy. And then finally this very easy pair. And then a very easy OLO. And then a T perm. Oh, that's... Oh. oh, 543 looked like what? some lock up on that ZBLL. Okay, so for this next solve, a 543, Timon went for yellow cross. As you can see, the cross pieces are here, 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 and here. And Timon's actually going to go for a pseudo double X cross. It's actually insane. I have no idea how he could plan all of this. So as most people would, he puts in these two pieces first. And as you can see, when you move this piece up, it actually pairs up with this edge. And he's also going to make the X cross with this edge. So he starts as you normally would. But instead of going to insert this pair and just solving the cross without having this solved, he solves this as a pseudo pair. Solving this as a pseudo pair over here and this into its slot like this. Which is just absolutely insane. And then you just get a free pair like this. I have no idea how someone can see all of that in inspection. And then he has this pair, where you can rotate, but you won't get EO, and you also have a rotation. So instead, he moves the edge into the back like this, and then pairs it up like this. And Timo knows full TUL ZBLL, and here you get a very easy ZBLL. You recognize it by these corners being the same, and these corners being the same. And there's a block here and here. And the alg is very easy, all you do is an F, and then the Y perm alg, and then an F2. And then you just have a U prime AUF. That solve was absolutely insane. I haven't ever analyzed Timon's solves like this before. And looking at them much more in depth is so insane. Okay, well, they're going for third solve. Oh, oh my god. Oh wow. my. Oh. 457. So this solve was a 457, which is absolutely insane. But something that's more crazy than the actual time is the solution. The solution is super advanced. It features a lot of crazy block building stuff with a pogger ZBLL at the end. So Timo did yellow cross for this solve. As you can see, these two pieces are ready to go in just like that. But instead of just doing the normal solution, like putting in these two and then putting in this one, he saw that if you just align these three pieces without aligning the red edge and you pair up the orange blue pair, it'll put this pair in its slot, which makes it a really cool block building solve. So that's exactly what he did. He brought in these two pieces and left this one over here. And then while pairing this up, this one got inserted like this. And while doing that, this one got paired up. And then he rotated over here to put in this edge, like this, to preserve this pair. And then a really easy insert for the last pair. Now here is a very easy ZBLL. It's super easy to recognize. These two are opposite and this is just an adjacent color. And there are blocks all around. Now what Timon did for this ZBLL isn't my normal solution. I usually do it from this angle. But Timo did it from this angle, and here's how the algorithm goes. And then a UAUF. So that solve was insane. It had some really cool block building stuff, and also a super cool ZBLL. Timon getting started. Oh, oh my. my god, he's just on... It's, he picks up... Oh my god! For the second to last solve, a 4.63, which... 
accounting for what universe is this? Timon makes a red double X cross with, you guessed it, a pseudo pair. So Timon starts out by inserting this edge with an F2 and then bringing this block up with an R. And then to insert these two pieces, he does a D2. And instead of doing an F prime and then an R, Timon's very big brain. So in order to knock this edge out to make the double X cross, he does R F prime. Now, instead of just inserting this into the back like that, Timon's gonna make a pseudo double X cross. So he starts out by inserting this edge into this slot and then you can have this pseudo pair set up. So he inserts it, and then you can just do double sexy in the back to make the pseudo pair, just like this. And now you can see we have a double X cross with these pseudo pairs. And then right here, we have a very nice three move case. And then for last slot, he orients edges by pairing it up like this and doing a sledgehammer. Now, as I said before, Timo knows full TUL ZBLL. So he did a ZBLL algorithm that goes like this. and then he's done. So accounting for is just insane. Yesterday in a monkey league match, he got a 4.94 average, which is absolutely insane. When comps come back, I'm prepared to see a world record average from Timon. He's accounting 4.6 no matter what. Oh. Oh. 581. Five. Okay, that's, that's world uh, record is average. That sub now for this final solve of 5.81, Timon does red cross. The pieces are here, 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 and here. And the obvious solution would be to put in these two like this, and then this one, and then insert this one. But as we've learned from this video, Timon is a very intelligent man. He's very big brain. So what instead he does is he brings in these as you would, but then does a UD prime to move this over, and then R2 to put in this edge. And then when he moves this over with a D, and you do an R prime FR to insert this, this edge will move over by a U prime and it'll get flipped, which will make it a three move insert. So he does exactly that. He moves that in. And then once he's done that, he rotates and does another pseudo slot. And as you can see, this edge is solved. So all we need to do to pseudo slot is to solve corner. So he just solves this one like this. And then he does a D prime and then he pairs up this with pseudo F2. And then it gives him a very easy case for the last pair. So he does a sledge and then he gets a very easy OLL and then a J-perm with a U2 AUF. So the moral of the story is Timon is a god, whether it come to his pseudo F2L, his X crosses, or his ZBLLs. I've never analyzed someone's solves like I have right now, and I've actually learned a lot from doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. We're almost at 900 subscribers, which is almost a thousand, which is literally insane. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe because I spent a lot of time on it, mostly just reconstructing the solves because Timon's solutions are insane. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.